Well, let's find out more about this center from Jean-Paul Adam. He is the Director for Technology, Climate Change and Natural Resource Management at the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Great to have you with us on the show today, uh, uh, Mr. Adam. Now, of course, this groundbreaking center, it will be critical for the continent, uh, especially in advancing digital technology uh, and, of course, cultivating the necessary skills uh, and education that we need in the digital economy. So the first question that comes to mind is why did you choose uh, the Republic of Congo as the location for the center? So good evening from Brazzaville, and thank you very much for having me. Uh, so first of all, the, I think we need to recognize what, uh, what's the importance of artificial intelligence, and it is one of the building blocks of the digital economy. And African countries have, um, by adopting, for example, the African Union Digital Transformation Strategy, recognized the importance of investing uh, in these building blocks to be able to make sure that African countries are able to use these technologies. And Congo is one of the countries that um, already had certain research capacity, and they had been asking uh, African countries to, uh, you know, come into a network. So there was already some efforts uh, happening, uh, and there was also discussions that we had been undertaking with them on using, uh, on having a regional platform for tracking uh, COVID-19. And this was a COVID-19 information platform, which actually was going to use artificial intelligence. And one of the things we found was that when we would try to recruit experts for this, it was going to cost in the millions of dollars. And in the end, we managed to get some African expertise that existed at a much cheaper rate. And the idea was then born uh, that we need to have, so we need to develop this capacity across the continent. And Congo offered to be the host and bring certain resources to the table. Uh, they have agreed to host it within the uh, Denis Sassou Nguesso University. Uh, and uh, but it will be a center for the whole of the continent, which connects researchers across the continent and also develops the capacity of African countries to invest in this research and most importantly, apply it in to address the needs of African countries. Mm. Now, it is quite exciting because the center is expected uh, to be the first of its kind in Africa. But how will it compete with uh, global players such as Google, who have launched their own AI centers uh, in Ghana? Uh, that was back in 2019. So what's the expectation? We see it as, as complementary because ultimately, the, uh, if we look at ecosystems around the world that have been successful in fostering innovation, uh, they have not done so in a bubble. It has been. It has happened usually when there is uh, even competing uh, research happening, and which uh, is, uh, I would say, cross-fertilizing. Uh, and I think we need to keep in mind also the difference in uh, in, in mandate. Uh, Google is obviously a private company, and they are looking for to develop this uh, uh, this capacity uh, ultimately for the purposes of developing their their, their brand. Uh, and developing also economic opportunities associated with that. And that's something which is excellent and which is totally in line with also the goals of this regional center. This regional center is designed to connect governments to researchers, to top quality research across the continent and to connect universities, um, whether they be public owned or publicly owned or private, uh, but bringing them together to be able to develop the, the uh, interventions that can make a difference and also um, creating a, an easy, easily accessible uh, place as well for uh, potential budding entrepreneurs uh, that want to apply these technologies uh, in a way which, which solves the problems that they are facing every day. Uh, and uh, we have had conversations with a number of, of partners uh, in the digital space who are all supportive of the development of this center. So we see it as one of complementarity. While there may be some competition, it is one that will uh, we think make uh, make the uh, end result better for Africa. Mm. Now you also say this AI center will add a new dynamic to Africa's participation uh, in the global value chain. How so? Well, I think it's it really is about the economic model that uh, Africa wants to see. Uh, we have seen that uh, African growth in uh, in the last perhaps two decades has been driven particularly by um, exports of commodities um, uh, or extractives, often with, with limited value addition. Uh, that has, uh, we, we, has been fit for purpose. It has developed uh, uh, African economies successfully, but it also has limitations. And perhaps most 
uh, visible in the context of COVID-19, where we're seeing that even though there is a recovery happening, it tends to be slower in Africa. The lack of diversification of economies has been uh, shown to be a real problem for this recovery and for resilience. Having technologies such as artificial intelligence in itself doesn't solve a problem, but having a large number of people who have access to these technologies means that they can apply them to real world problems that they're facing every day. And we've seen certain countries already using it. We've seen countries using artificial intelligence in drones to deliver medicines. We've seen telecommunication companies use uh, these, uh, these types of technologies to better connect uh, people uh, to their services. Uh, we've seen them also used in, uh, in, for example, public health in the uh, agglomeration of data and the, the use of data also in medical diagnosis among some of the areas where this can be used and increasingly around machine learning and therefore efficiencies uh, that can be achieved through uh, machine learning. Uh, also in the world of e-commerce, which has actually had um, a mini explosion in the context of COVID-19, where even in Africa, which is the least connected continent, uh, we have seen a lot of uh, startups and businesses emerge uh, on the basis of digital commerce. And artificial intelligence is one of those ingredients, it's one of those building blocks that allows e-commerce to happen. So when we look at the continent, the African continental free trade area, which is in its operationalization stage, uh, if we want to really develop this deeper, more sustainable economy built on sustainable value chains, we need to use all of the levers available uh, to make sure that African countries are uh, are involved in the intellectual property around these uh, these innovations, uh, and that they can be more involved throughout the value chain and not only either as uh, exporters or as consumers. Uh, and I think that this is uh, one of the most meaningful interventions that we can make to make that kind of change in terms of African, African citizens' participation in the value chain.